What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 64, and today I'll continue talking about this whole Cisco Lotto gambling thing. It's just been getting crazier and crazier and crazier in the past few days. I don't know what the hell's going on, but a lot of big YouTubers out there from the Call of Duty community are involved with this whole situation. It's getting really shady out here in the COD community, man. I don't even want to be part of it. And before we get into more details, guys, I would like to say this real quick. In the past few days, I did not upload a single video, and there's many reasons why. One, because, you know, sometimes life ain't sunshine and rainbows. And also, uh, number two, my work schedule was pretty much going ape shit. I did not have a nice work schedule. I worked back to back. My shifts were freaking terrible. And also, I couldn't sleep. So um, I went a whole day like, with only three hours of sleep. Yeah, I was pretty much frustrated and stressed out. So... I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do any videos. I couldn't work in the division. Even if I tried, I would just be with low energy. And, you know, I apologize for not uploading anything. It's just that I just really felt re really stressed out. I needed my days off, man, from YouTube and from all these commentating. So um, there's that. And, and I do apologize to my loyal subs for not participating in some of the PS4 stuff that I really promised to, to do, like play the division or play Black Ops 3 with some certain people out there. Like I'm trying my best. And um, I'll tell you guys this right now, uh, just a way ahead of schedule. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I will be available to play on the PS4. And the reason why is because, well, I'm off from work. So there you have it. I'll probably be on the whole day on the PS4 playing several games. And I'll hopefully do see you guys uh, playing The Division or Black Ops 3. Invite me and I'll join you all, guys. Maybe I'll even record if there's a good time to be recording. Because sometimes, you know, Mr. Ice Cream Truck passes across my goddamn house. And, you know, the, the song will be playing all over the goddamn time. So... You know, it's really it's really difficult to record during the day for me. So uh, yeah, that's why I don't record. But I'll try my best to record. But anyways, uh, now moving on to the main topic of today. Several YouTubers are pretty much confessing towards this CS:GO Lotto gambling thing. It's really sketchy now. And now most of the YouTubers that are pretty much confessing about this whole situation are from the Call of Duty community. Wow, who would have thought, right? So a bunch of this, a bunch of these big YouTubers. Uh, own CSGO websites and some of them is T Martin, Pro Syndicate, uh, KYR Speedy, uh, who else? Phase Rain and several Phase members and it's just really shady man how they're trying to make money that bad by making kids trying to bet with their CSGO skins and um, also a bunch of these YouTubers. You see the biggest problem like I said before was that these people were not saying they were sponsored by the website. They were acting like they just found it like out, out of fucking nowhere just like like it's just appeared in the fat air like it's just it was so random that's what they you know they, they were trying to tell you about this from this whole csgo website thing and it's bullshit they were actually being sponsored they never told you guys they were actually being paid by the you know by the website to promote it and they never said anything and lately in the past few days they have been changing their descriptions a lot of people have apologized on twitter saying that you know i'm sorry i did not say this in the video now i'm saying it and i'm getting paid by csgo lotto and you know a bunch of shit has been going down and the one that really surprised me the most had to be kyr speedy this guy was involved too wow i thought he was this guy was innocent to be honest this guy was cool back in the day i used to be sub to him and then i unsubbed because I, I just felt that his content just felt too repetitive especially shit from last week like it just felt too too like uh the jokes were really forced that's how i felt when i saw those those videos after a while so um so yeah like this guy i thought he was really innocent and no nope, apparently he's not so whoever you subscribe to, whoever is big in YouTube, especially from the COD community, they might actually be sellouts. It's my opinion though. I'm not saying they actually are. I'm just saying, in my opinion, they look like sellouts, especially accepting money from these kinds of websites. Like it's, it's not bad to make money, but sometimes in their videos, you gotta say that you're paid. It's a law and you know, you gotta say it so you can protect yourself from being arrested and taking the court and also misleading your subs into some certain website that looks sketchy as hell especially you know t martin the way he did it it was just super sketchy and we already talked about this and t martin is just a scumbag right now scumbag of the year another thing that i want to really talk about is pro syndicate how is this guy not getting any hate he did do a video about the csgo lotto thing and no hate he literally just only got like around one third of the dislike in the in the like bar like what the hell a lot of people are not noticing what he's doing he is also sketchy as hell as much as t martin why is he not getting any dislike he's literally part owner of this csgo lotto gambling site but no no hate wow 
what's going on there call of duty community man most of you guys are blind or what the fuck is going on so it's really shocking man i just don't really want to be part of this whole community thing it looks sketchy it looks really dark it looks like some kind of mob and i don't know man it's really crazy so pro syndicate phase rain several phase members are involved with this whole csgo gambling thing and now they're being forced to actually confess about this whole situation change their descriptions talk about it on twitter apologize on twitter apologize to the subs a lot of shit has been going on look it up in youtube in my opinion about this whole situation man i'm glad i didn't grow in call of duty because i will be looking sketchy as hell too and i don't want that i literally want to be as solid as possible like as clear transparent as possible but anyways that's it guys i wanted to talk about today search it up for more news and that is it subscribe for more you guys want to see more content